coming and I dip, I gotta run Bitch, I'm off for two cars, finna fuck a bad bitch She in the Uber, coming to the stash for That shit, bitch, make a mind flip a mad quick what is good youtube it's your boy exorbing and today guys i'm going to show you guys my threes my twos and my ones badges on my tier finisher the only thing different between my threes and twos badges is some defense and that's it it's only my defensive badges so let's get into this i'm gonna show you guys my twos badges first on my tier finisher then i'm gonna go to my threes and i'm gonna go to my 1v1 court badges so let's go so for my badges for the twos, I have Archibat on gold. I have it on gold because I really I feel like I don't need it any higher. I mean I do a lot of reverses a lot, so I feel like this gold is good for me. It's your opinion. You can go. You can take all of it. Um, Lobster finisher of gold and put this on. It's up to you. But this is what I have out. This is my loadout for when I play twos. And also threes too. So these are the twos and threes is the same right here. So these are the badges I use for twos and threes for the finishing. So just copy this if you want if you play twos and threes on this on a tier finisher. I'm gonna make a build video on this guy soon. Um so just stay tuned for that. I'm just showing you guys the badges now because you guys have been also asking for the badges. But I have Archibatic Gold, I have Contact Finisher Hall of Fame. Obviously, you need to have it if you want to be a you want to catch them bodies and make the layups and test layups so that's what i got it on fancy footwork i have it on hall of fame so you can beat your defender with advanced layups or dunk gatherings it pulls it you know blah, blah 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 i have it on hall of fame i actually love this badge i think this is the first badge i put on this hold up so they finish i don't remember but i had fancy footwork on for a while when i was guarding this guy giant slayer i feel like this is a must need since this build is only i think like 610 i forgot so you know if you're playing someone bigger you're going to be able to put up a um layup on someone taller a higher tall defender because you know there's a lot of seven foot centers out there 611 like bigger people out there so you know giant slayer on hall of fame is good in my opinion to have on this build since you know you're gonna be facing a lot of bigger people so i have it on hall of fame Lob City Finisher, you know. I have it on. You don't have to have it on, I guess. If you want to change it, if you want to put like this on or like Deep Hook. Like, it's up to you. It's how you play, I guess, whatever. But I have it on Hall of Fame because if I'm playing with a guard and he's like blah, 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 dribbling, I'm always going to stay. I'm going to set pick or whatever. Do something. Get him open if he wants it. If he wants an ISO, I'll set hash and then, you know, just easy lobs if he's getting clamped or the center always picks up it seems like so it's easy lobs easy boom easy rep also add pro touch on gold you know gives you a hot a um, additional boost for having a good time layup sometimes i don't time my labs good but when i do i was it's gonna go in because i do get that boost because pro touch so i have it on gold you know you can also put that on hall of fame if you want these are the badges i have these okay these are the badges i have you can also use them all. You can change them up. Put some gold that I have a Hall of Fame. Put some Hall of Fame that I have gold. It's up to you with these badges. These are what I use. And I recommend you using for a tier finisher. And I feel like and you'll become a demigod. I've, I've. So. These are the badges I use. And then for my next badge. I have Relentless Finisher. Obviously Hall of Fame. Reduces failure efforts from finishing at the rim of contact. Blah, 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 blah. Also, another badge I think is a must need for a tier finisher or slasher. So, it's a must need. Slippery finisher, also, I feel like is a must need because you're, you're avoiding contact when you go to the rim, so it's easier for you to score. I feel like. Like, I really never tried a slippery finisher off, like, had it off at all. So, um, I always had it on, so I don't really know what it's like without it so but slippery finisher hall of fame is a must need in my opinion if you want to be a good um that we got a slasher let's go to the shooting badge i only get one i have slippery off ball strains the player ability to get open off the ball you it's up to you what you can want to do you want to put the quick draw range extender what not range extender i mean yeah range extender also does help with the mid range but it's up to you what you want to do but i have it on slippery off ball playmaking i have it on quick quick first step if you guys seen the video i posted a couple days ago on the stage i love the quick first step i always i mean always first thing i do when i get the ball 
give my secret away hit him with quick first step and then i go like if i hit him with a quick first step to the right i might go to the right or i might go to the left i might switch it up i don't know it's up to how i feel and how the person's playing me see how the defense is on me see everything like that and then i'm out quick first step if they're playing close to me i hit him with that for hezzy and then i go and i'm out they ain't getting me that's the thing if they play if they're good like if they're a good player they're gonna obviously know how to stop me but if not not like an average player they might they might not know how to stop it but just say i'm on like the right side and i hit them with it and i go to the right side and i keep going I, i'm gonna hit them with a the reverse if i can hit it if not then i have an easy layup or easy dunk because it always works like that and my, like i always see that if i if i'm on, like the closer to the right side or closer to the left side corner and I hit him with that, I'm either gonna get an easy reverse or an easy dunk or layup. Or maybe, you know, they play good defense and I get forced to pick it up the ball, pass that to my guard, easy three or whatever. But I feel like quick first step is a must need for a center for this build at all. I feel like this is a must see need badge in general. If you obviously you always get a one playmaking badge, I feel like. I think so yeah, you do. So always have it on quick first step if that's the only badge you get. I feel like it's a must need in every build you have. But that's what I have for my playmaking build. So for my twos, these are my twos badges still. These defensive badges are different. Um, so like it matters by who I'm playing with. Sometimes if I'm playing, like when I was playing with Ermi, this is the badge layout I had. I had brick wall on, and then this is the layout I had, and it was working. Or oh, no, I should have clamps off. So I was playing with Ermi. So I had it like this. This is the loadout I had. It matters by the guard I'm playing with. Like if I'm playing with a guard that doesn't like screens, I also you know I have this like this. Have to roll up. This would be my loadout. It matters by my loadout who I'm playing with. I always have this on Intimidator. That's always gonna never leave. I always change like my rim protector, put that shit to like brick wall. If the person likes screens, I have rebound chase on. I feel you can take that off if you want. I have it on so I can like you know get the rebounds. I still get the rebounds without the rebound chase on, but you know just get that extra boost to get those rebounds. You know you need those rebounds if your center, if the guards missing or the other teams missing in those late games. I feel like it's a must need on, but I have it on at all times, just in case you never know. You might face a nice snag god. Good, put up a competition at least get the rebounds. I ain't going out of baby, going out of beach. Excuse my life. but. I have it on. These are the layout loadout I have for um, my threes and my twos. Defense, it matters. Like remember, like I put this. I put brick wall on. Like if I put a brick wall on, I put take my bronze clamps off and put it on bronze rim protector. That's all. I, that's always what I do. So it's up to you what you want to do. If you always want to keep rim protector on, keep brick wall off. It's up to you. But I, this is the loadout I always have. What I do with that. So this is the loadout I always have. Okay, so let's get into my 1v1 badges. Really, not that much. You can just, um. Boom. That's all I did. <laughs> Back down. Sorry if my nose sounds a little stuffy right now. Like, if it sounds like I'm a little. What's that called? I don't know how weird. My bad. But for the, um. Stuffed up. I don't even know what the word is. But you know what I mean. Probably, hopefully. But these are the badges I do have use for the 1v1 court. That's it. Mob City Finisher, off, back down Punisher, Hall of Fame. It's up to you what you want to do uh, with these badges. But this is what I got for my finish badges, really not that much. Back down Punisher, Hall of Fame. And, but that's for, like, you know, if you're playing a guard or someone smaller than you, or what, not even smaller than you, just, you know, you're backing them down, bringing them into that post. Hit him with that. You can hit him with any all these new moves. You can hit him with anything with this, if you if it works. Most of you have your takeover is overpowered, but that's what I have for my finishing. Um, shooting and playmaking is obviously the same. My defense, um, obviously, I put this. This is what I do. It's up to you. I keep these two silver. This is what I do for my one v ones. I keep these two silver, and then. Or, you know, I'll go like this. It matters by what you want to do. Because I've been playing a lot of guards recently, to be honest with you. Oh, actually. Boom. It's up to you what you want to do. It's however you feel like you play, 
however what you see your weaknesses it's just whatever you want to do like I be switching up my defensive badges a lot because I really don't know who I'm gonna be playing like I'll play a center center fuck mess me up in the paint it's whatever I'll stop him still whatever oh I'll play a guard and then that guard be fast as hell and I can't stay up him that the like out three point line, so you know I'm like shit. I wish I had clampers, clamps, because you know I could stop him. So this is probably actually what I'm looking at right now. This might be my one v one loadout right here: clamps and intimidator, gold, and then rim protector, silver, and rebound chaser, silver. Feel like that's a nice steady, like you know, um, a nice steady defensive badge loadout right here with these badges like this. So I spread it out. Got that clamps. I got the intimidator. Got the rim protector. And I got rebound chaser. So I'm two and two with these badges. And I feel like this is gonna be I feel like this is gonna be overpowered because you know I'm still gonna be able to get the blocks in the paint. Still gonna be able to snag the rebounds. I'm gonna be able to guard like to be able to stay in front of the defender at the three-point line when they wanna do that. And then you know if they shoot, I'm gonna help them, I'm gonna make them miss a little bit. Maybe I want to put, the, I could put that down, put like rim protector gold. It's up to you. Like, I don't know. I'm going to obviously test out all the new, like all these badges, whatever. But this is what I'm going to do. Try it out and see how it is. Um, obviously, you could test out the badges how you want. Like, these are the badges I use. I'm not saying use these badges if you want to be a demigod. I ain't going to lie to you. It's up to you how you play, what you like, what your play style. It's up to you what the badges are. But these are the badges I use and I feel like improved my game. Improved my like ability to like, you know, make shots, play defense and all that. So these are the badges I use. Let me know in the comment section if you guys use these badges, how it is, how you like them. Let me know. Also, I'm going to drop a build video soon, probably Saturday, Sunday, I don't know. Uh, just stay tuned for that if you guys want to see that video smash that like button damn my nose yo smash that like button if you guys want to see that build video also comment down in the comment section if you guys want to see like a mixtape of me on my tier finishes I have a lot of clips on me like catching bodies and stuff so let me know what you guys want to see also let me know some video ideas what you guys want to see because you know you guys are the audience and you guys know what you guys like to see so you know I'm gonna deliver to you guys since you guys I really can't read your mind. I mean, if I read your mind, I sure I'm afraid if I can read your mind. So I really don't know what you guys be thinking, but it's okay. If I can read your mind, um, hopefully all that stuff you be really thinking, I can't read that. But like the mo video ideas, like what videos you guys like to see. That's what I'm talking about. But um, <laughs> let me stop. If you guys are new, hit that sub button, turn on post notifications. Also, you know, like I said, hit that like button. Let's try to get 10 likes. So, that is it, guys. I'm out. Peace.